Hey Medicos, in this video, we are going to learn about important ophthalmology instruments, their uses and some most important viva questions. Let's talk about first one that is Chalajayan clamp. It is a forceps with a large screw. Look over here. Here we have the screw. Yes, the screws for fixing or tightening the limb like a clamp. Yes, here we have the another image and look over here. These are the serrations. The serrations are useful for better grip. Let's talk about the method. The solid plate, this is the solid plate and this is applied on the skin surface of the lid and the ring side is applied on the tarsal conjunctiva. Encircling the chalazion, the screw is tightened and the lid is everted and then chalazion is exposed for incision. Let me ask you a simple question, which type of incision used here? Yes, that is vertical incision. Let's talk about the uses. The first one is to fix the chalazion for surgery and also to ensure hemostasis. The second one is incision and curatage operation. And the third one is to give intralesional injection of a steroids in chalazion after fixing it with forceps. Yes, so these are some important uses. Let's talk about our next instrument that is Chalajian scoop, which is also called as curate. So how can we identify this instrument? This instrument is easy to identify. It is a small scoop, looks like a cup with sharp edges attached to a handle. Remember that the size of the scoop may vary. And what are the uses? To scoop out the granulation tissue after giving incision on chalazion. Which incision? Yes, vertical incision. And remember that scooping of the chalazion must be complete. Otherwise, there may be chance of recurrence. Let's talk about the eye speculum. So we have three types of speculums. First one, this is second one and this is third one. So this is universal eye speculum, this is guarded eye speculum and this is wire speculum. How can we identify these speculums? Look over here, it has a spring and two limbs and a screw to adjust the limbs and it is called the universal eye speculum because it can be used on either sides. So means it can be used on left eye or right eye. This is guarded eye speculum. So how can we identify it? Yes. The upper limbs of the speculum is having a guard plate, look over here, which keeps the eyelashes of the upper lid away from the field of operation. So two instruments are required, one for the right eye and another for the left eye. And this third one is wire speculum. It is made up of stainless steel, look over here, you can easily identify it because there is no screw. So it is uh, very light in weight and hence gives little pressure on the eyeball. So it can be used safely during intraocular operations as well as extraocular operations. And the uses of all these speculums are nearly same. It is used to separate the both eyelids for good exposure of the eyeball mainly during extraocular operations like pterygium excision, squint operations, evisceration and enucleation, debridement and cautery of corneal ulcer to give subconjunctival or subtenon injections, removal of corneal foreign body, removal of conjunctival cyst or mass during suture removal. You can take a screenshot or you can remember it. These are the extraocular operations for which we are using yes speculums. But examiner may ask you a question, what are the disadvantages of a guarded eye speculum? The answer is yes, it is a heavier, hence it gives more pressure on the globe and that's why the operating field is reduced. So these are the disadvantages of guarded eye speculum. Examiner may also ask, what are the disadvantages of universal eye speculum? Here we have no guard. So, the eyelashes of the upper lid 
come in the field of operation that's why it is not used in intraocular operations because more vitreous upthrust and vitreous loss by direct pressure on the globe so these are the disadvantages of universal eye speculum yeah let's talk about blades the first one is crescent knife look over here here we have the images of crescent knife this is the blunt tip yes which is beveled up and this tip is mounted on a plastic handle it can be mounted on a metallic handle generally crescent knife with plastic handle is disposable so what are the uses the first one is to make sclerocorneal tunnel in manual small incision cataract surgery or in phaco emulsification it can also use in lamellar dissection of the cornea in lamellar keratoplasty also in sutureless trabeculectomy and also to separate pterygium head from underlying corneal lamella so these are the uses of crescent knife in this section of blade our next instrument is angular keratome so look over this image this is the angular keratome so how can you identify it a keratome has a thin diamond shaped blade with sharp apex and two cutting edges both sides having sharp edges so definitely having two cutting edges okay let's talk about its uses the first one is it is used to enter into anterior chamber after making sclerocorneal tunnel in manual small incision cataract surgery or in phaco emulsification the another one is it is used directly for making corneal section in phaco emulsification so these are the uses don't get confused between keratome and crescent knife in crescent knife having blunt tip and here we have the sharp edges in this group of instrument let's talk about our another instrument that is mvr or v lanced blade so how can you identify it look over this image yes it is a fine stressed instrument with triangular knife at distal end having cutting edges on the both sides so this is mvr blade and for what purpose it is used yes it is used for making side port entry at limbus here we have limbus yeah between the junction of cornea and sclera it is also used in pars plana vitreotomy let's talk about our next instrument which is most commonly asked in vivas called bard parker's handle so look at this image here we have the bard parker's handle which is also called as bp handle this is the handle and here we have the serrations for yes for better grip the handle is flat with a short grooved neck look over here this is the grooved neck the blades are fitted with the neck is number 11 or number 15 remember that the 11 number blade is triangular while the 15 number blade is curved with elliptical tip so this is our bp handle so what are the uses the uses are it is used for ab externo corneo scleral section for cataract surgery trabeculectomy operations skin incision in dcr ptosis or other lead surgeries to dissect the pterygium head from the cornea to give incision in chelazian operation which incision yes vertical incision and for suture removal after cataract operation or keratoplasty so these are the uses of bard parker's handle which is also called as bp handle yeah thanks for watching this video and stay tuned to watch another sets of important instruments in ophthalmology